Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Um, so this is going to be my June favourites. Um, this month has been a bit of a rocky one. It's just been so mental with like hormones and like aches and pains and things like that. So to be honest, on a lot of days I wasn't really like testing out new beauty products and, and I haven't really been dressing up that much either. I've just been a little bit, like a little bit more out of my, out of sync than usual. But there have been a few things that I have been liking. So I still wanted to talk about the things that I have been liking this month. There's also quite a few non-beauty and fashion related bits. This month we have moved into a new office space which is super exciting which is obviously where I'm filming <laughs> to have a set place for working has been really good like it's really good mentally also Jason now has a studio for his photography he's working on a lot more photo shoots at the moment and he's um, you can contact him if you'd like to book a photo shoot with him um, in the studio so I'll leave his uh, website and his email down below or in the video just want to give that a bit of a shout out I know sometimes it's hard to find good or like trustworthy photographers especially in London yeah, still suffering from hay fever. Oh my god. Okay, so I'll start with beauty. First thing is this replica uh, perfume. I've been reaching for this so much this month. I've been, um, oh, you guys probably know that I've been really liking the Narciso perfume, but for days where I don't want something as strong and as pronounced and quite heady, um, I've been really liking this. It's, it's quite the polar opposite. It's quite obviously floral. Did I say it's called Lazy Sunday Morning? <laughs> Soft Skin and Bed Linen. This is one of the, when I first ever smelt this range of perfumes, this is one I was drawn to straight away as well. Oh, I love it. Oh, ooh, ow, what in my eye. It's really refreshing and really uplifting. This foundation I've mentioned before, so I don't want to bang on about it too much because like, you've probably heard me talk about it before, but it's the Becca Aqualuminous Perfecting Foundation. Uh, long haul flights and things like that really like make my skin, uh, they really affect my skin badly and it takes a lot of the nice natural glow out of my skin. Um, and this foundation is just amazing for getting a really lovely glowy, fresh looking young face. <laughs> And like I wore this yesterday without powdering it a lot and Jason was like, have you done your makeup differently? Your skin looks really good. And I was like, yes. <laughs> um, so, and he never comments on my skin. <laughs> it's very rare. So the only thing I don't like is the packaging because I don't know if you can see maybe in a close up, but it kind of seeps out between the top and the jar, the bottle. So it gets really messy. I don't, they need to redesign that packaging, but amazing, amazing product. I really like it. Okay, next I've got a, what was that? Hey. <laughs> next I've got this toner from Kiehl's. It's called the Canendula Herbal Extract, Extract Toner, alcohol free. Um, I've been using this for ages, quite a few months, actually I think since March. I don't know if you guys can see, again I'll do a close up, but inside there's actually like flower leaves in here, like flower petals. I actually really like that the, the flowers are inside the bottle and it just makes it feel a lot more real the product that you're using it makes it feel a lot more natural and real if that makes sense you know not filled with tons of horrible chemicals um and uh, yes from normal to oily skin so this has been perfect while i've been pregnant as well i've been trying not to use a lot of like very very unnatural products even though that's quite difficult sometimes it doesn't sting it doesn't make my skin feel tight or anything it's very um delicate oh it smells like tea it smells like um Kind of smells a bit like black tea actually. Okay, next I've got the, I've got foundation on everything. See that foundation gets everywhere. <laughs> I've got this, it's from a brand called Mio, which you can find kind of here and there. They sell it in Space NK. This is the Liquid Yoga Stress-Free Space Spray. I'll just spritz it like around, oh, <laughs> it smells so nice. It's, if you've got a deep sleep pillow spray, it smells like that, it's quite lavendery and, just, you know, everything that kind of relaxes you and like, it feels like it relaxes your soul. It just calms you down for a minute. It's really nice. Um, so I spritz this around kind of whatever room I'm in in the house. If I'm feeling quite stressed or anxious, it really helps. I'm, like it doesn't obviously get rid of all your stress, but it's just a nice step to, it's a bit of aromatherapy. <laughs> I've realized a lot of these things are quite refreshing products. Uh, cactus flower and Tibetan ginseng hydrating mist. This is amazing on the plane. It's such a good size as well um, for traveling. This is just probably, out of all the ones I've got, my favorite facial spray. 
Oh yeah. You know during the day when your skin can really easily get kind of dried out and quite tired looking, I feel like it just brings my skin to life a little bit more. If you've got a really long day out or a really long work day, just like pop that on your desk and just, well, you know, spritz it throughout the day. It will kind of bring you back to life a little bit. That's the only way I can explain it. <laughs> thing is shameless self-promotion but it's not just I, I'm not doing this for no reason I've been loving this tote I've been using it a lot this month already this is our November night coffee run in progress tote and um, so yeah this is it in black we've also got one in a natural color the black ones are actually sold out at the moment so I'm really sorry to show you this one um, but yeah then there are some natural ones left the reason I love this is just because I mean, I'm not going to go on about a tote bag. I know you guys know what a tote bag does. It just fits everything I need. It fits my laptop. It fit, it's just been really handy for traveling and for, you know, like when you've got a small bag, but you want another bag just to put all your like boring bits and bobs in. It's just come in really handy. It's a really nice and thick canvas material. So it's not a flimsy, horrible, you know, material to carry around with you all day. And perfect shape, perfect size. And... I love it. <laughs> we still have some indie shirt dresses available as well. So I'll, well, our website's always linked down below if you wanted to check it out. So an app that I found really helpful this month is Pregnancy Plus. Um, and at first I was just using one called Ovia, which has also been really good. And it gives you kind of daily updates of what the baby is doing at the moment and like what's growing on the baby and on it. <laughs> like, you know, what it's what the next stage is for the baby and things like that. Um, but then I downloaded Pregnancy Plus and it's quite a bit more in-depth. I'd recommend them both, Ovia and Pregnancy Plus. I really like the design of the Pregnancy Plus um, app as well. Also, you can kind of search for boys and girls' names. You can keep lists of your baby name ideas. There's loads of things you can do, like store important phone numbers, like my midwife. Um, on YouTube, I've just discovered Joe Rogan, who <laughs> is a massive MMA like figure. I didn't really know about him before because obviously I don't know about everyone in MMA but I found him through I think I was searching for like newer Russell Brown videos because he doesn't make any videos anymore and I'm like missing my Russell Brown fix. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, and I found this three hour long uh, kind of like a podcast between Joe Rogan and Russell Brown. So interesting. Absolutely. I just love listening to podcasts and talks and conversations like what the, the things that they were talking about. I'll link it down below. Someone else who I loved, oh my God, like he's the, been the best discovery for me has been Alan Watts. I don't know if I've mentioned him before in a favorites video, um, but Alan Watts, amazing. I found his videos actually through uh, Sonia es Esmond. Then from Sonia Esmond, then I went over to the Alan Watts videos on YouTube of his talks. Oh, just mind blowing and it makes so much sense and I don't know if this is making any sense but I'm really bad at explaining it <laughs> but it's basically about the universe, about life, about it's an alternative to everything that we've grown up like being made to believe about life, about religion, about uh, society so it totally opens your mind and I love it. There's also Terence McKenna, I need to, I've only just, uh, listened to one of his talks but I really want to listen to more of his talks as well. Anyway, I'll stop going on about it. I don't know if you want me to do a whole video about that kind of topic. Um, on another note, that's not about like deep life stuff. Um, I just went in music. I just went through a little bit of an R&B like throwback stage. It was so fun. Just all the music at the moment is just absolutely shit. Like, is it just me? I just, I know that people are always like, oh, I miss the old days of this and that. But honestly, the music these days is so turd. Like there's one or two good, like Adele, Beyonce. There's people who still do songs that I really like. But anyway, so I had a bit of a, th of a throwback. I was listening to like Joe, Genuine, Marcus Houston, Amarian. Oh, like Ashanti. It made me really happy and it's so nostalgic and it brings back all these memories. I think that's it for all of my favorites this month. This top that I'm wearing is from Topshop. I really like it, it's super comfy. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you're all having a really good day or night. And I was, oh, also thank you so much for all of your lovely comments on my ooh, pregnancy video and like in my balloon and everything and all your comments on Instagram. I just, I see most, I see pretty much all of them and it's so sweet of you to like to have this much support and happiness means so much. So thank you. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> what was that?